Hey guys, welcome to day number four of our Quacktober challenge. We're here and we're about to go to India. Uh, we're gonna get our curry on. This is a delicious, delicious recipe that I was really surprised by because initially, and this is back before I ever went to India, uh, I wasn't a big curry fan. I did get used to it a little bit over there, uh, but then now my wife, uh, who is anything but Indian, <laughs> as you can tell, probably, uh, is has really changed me into a lover of this. So gonna ask you to consider giving this a try, even if you've never done the curry thing before. So let's talk about this. Okay. What is this specific well, recipe the reason called? Th it's a vegetarian curry. Vegetarian. That's all it is. But um, my older girl loves chicken curry, and I have a super easy recipe that I make all the time. I don't do it in the crock pot. It's on the stovetop, and maybe I'll share that with you another time. Stovetop ones are coming. Um, yeah. But uh, I tried to look for vegetarian mains for my younger girl who decided to become a vegetarian, and she's kind of half and half. But um, we made this just off of Pinterest and was really, really surprised at how much I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it's so really, so. really good. Okay, so, so let's get into what's what's in it. Now, this is a little bit more, guys, in terms of A little bit more prep, ingredients. a few more ingredients. A few more ingredients. So we've saved this for day four to not scare you away. <laughs> <laughs> so we've given a, this is a bit more chopping and a bit more preparation. It's chop but and prep, but it's still dumb. It's still, it's still done. Yep. Yeah. So let's let's walk it through. Okay. What do so we got here? what we have is uh, one sweet potato, which is peeled and chopped up. Okay, that looks like about like probably about a cup cup, cup and a half probably or so. Yeah, it was about a region. medium sweet yep. potato. Okay. So that goes in. Um, Good superfood there, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a medium to large. They call for gala apple. We have honey crisp because we have a billion of them in the house, so that's what this is, peeled and chopped. What apples in India? How I know. Does this happen? When, when these come <laughs> out. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, now I have to qualify this because I hate cauliflower. Mm -hmm. I hate eating it. It's terrible. It's a vile <laughs> weed. But um, I've made it into a crust for pizza, mm -hmm. and it's really, really good. So everybody's starting to go low carb and using cauliflower for all these weird things. And so the cauliflower in it, I don't even notice it because it soaks up so much of the, the good, good sauce, and it's just part of the vegetables that are in there. So this is two cups. Two cups chopped. Cauliflower chopped. chopped. Now you probably could use, if you're an Aldi fan, there is actually frozen cauliflower that you can get that's already made into almost like a rice style. Yeah, put that So in that would there. prep you and that would save you some prep time if you sure. want to be a little bit lazy. Okay, now here's your protein. Two cans of chickpeas, let's see, six grams of protein per half cup serving. Mm -hmm. This one is from Aldi, it is not organic. Mm -hmm. This one is from Fresh Time, I think, and mm -hmm. it is organic. I thought it was interesting, I, they probably can't see. Look at the organic ones are bigger. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is just what we have. So that's going in. They drain those, yep. drain all that stuff off. Okay? Good. We're gonna do a, one can of diced tomatoes. This is not fire roasted. I have made it with fire roasted. It's really good that way. This is just what we had. This is a Costco brand and it is organic and we're not draining that. Put it in with juice and all. Okay? Um, this is a half a cup of onion. I, prep, food prepper extraordinaire, mm. That was a brag. That was a total brag. <laughs> she is. Um, I saute at least two onions every Sunday. Even if I don't know what I'm going to use it for, I saute onions. And so I always have sauteed onions in my refrigerator. Chopping and sauteing onions is a pain in the neck. But if you do it all at once, you will have sauteed onions. And guess what? Onions are super, super cheap. And if you don't use your sauteed onions, throw them out yeah and and the fact is is this is just kind of like the whole ground turkey thing that we do so it's just yep. a resource that you can pull to yep. yeah it's a really good flavor when it's sauteed yeah different than just having raw onions I thrown into this not a raw onion fan anyway half cup onions i sauteed mine throw them in raw it's no big deal let it cook forever okay and now we're going to put in make sure i'm not missing anything tomato paste that's two <clears throat> tablespoons of tomato paste i buy mine organic at Costco, tomato paste is really, really cheap. We're gonna do, I'm just gonna make sure I check my recipe, two teaspoons of chopped garlic. And if I was making this for myself, I'd add just a little bit more, because <laughs> I do like that garlic. Okay, and we're gonna do a teaspoon of garlic salt and two tablespoons of ginger. I double checked and make sure I wasn't going crazy with the ginger. This is a half uh, tablespoon measure so we're doing four of those pretty 
Hazy with the ginger. I like it. And Not I like the cheese the way. whiz, as Beck would say. Nice. Okay. And we're going to do um, the curry paste. I have made, like I said, that curry chicken with a curry powder. It does not add the rich flavor of a curry paste. And Dan's going to talk a little bit about the curry. Okay, so this, this is, is a quarter cup. It's only a quarter cup for eight servings. So, so it's P A T A K S, Patax. Yes, is what we okay. found. Um, and that is the, the main brand of curry paste. So if you're looking around and you probably find it more in your uh, ethnic foods uh, aisle, uh, and maybe not all, all stores have that, but you're probably your, your more, uh, whether it's like a Whole Foods or even just like your more local super, supermarket, it's probably not so much your Walmart deal that's gonna have this, but it's this is the mild version. There is a hot version. So if you like your curry on the spicy side, you can do the hot version This is not as well. spicy, not hot spicy. It's spicy, it tastes really good. Yeah, it's not I would hot. say more savory yeah. is, the, is probably the better. And this is not, the most health conscious thing. It's yeah. a little high in sodium. We were looking at the saturated fat, but the way it comes out per serving is really not a big deal. Pretty and the small. flavor punch is amazing. And consider there's no meat in this. Mm -hmm. um, it's all vegetarian based. So I don't know. The trade off is very I'm not a decent. nutritionist, yeah. but I, I always feel good when Well, I the only it. things that really in there is this canola oil that's happening. And then uh, you do get, there's a little bit of higher sodium content um, for both of those. So, but again, when you split that up over the servings that you're getting in this, is probably, probably not that much. Yeah. Okay. So the last thing um, for cooking is one and three quarter cups. That's 14 ounces. We're using vegetarian broth just to be total vegetarian Low sodium, you organic. can use chicken if you want if that's what you have so that goes in and then you're, you're going to cook this on low six to eight hours on high mm -hmm. five to seven hours and when it's all cooked stir it up and throw in a half a cup of light coconut milk you could use full fat if you want if it, that's not a big deal to you that's going to make it super creamy and then at the end, you're going to put um, one and a half cups of spinach. And you don't, you're not going to want to cook this for eight hours. You guys know that it turned to mush. Just put it in at the end. Stir it up, let it heat through, and then you serve it. The smell in your house is amazing. I, I love the smell of curry. Maybe yeah. some people don't. Um, you can serve it over brown rice um, or quinoa and homemade naan. Maybe oh we should God. do a show about homemade naan. Oh, maybe. We're I gonna, love to make We naan. are going to do a whole bread healthy like somewhat healthier bread yeah. making bread easier uh, and healthier. I know Costco has size. naan. Yeah. It's so not that expensive but you scoop this into the naan with a little rice. And, Very mm, delicious. So good. Very good stuff. So um, and the idea is so we'll have this and this is going to be located um, so the, the um, recipe is on our blog at letsgo-fitness.com and you'll have that there. Once again, so you, this time you're going to have, uh, we've got the chance to share this. So your challenge today is a little bit different than what we've done in the past. So in addition to you commenting on this, and all I want you to have, uh, all you need to say today is, go India. Okay? That's going to be the random phrase of the day. Go India. Random. Uh, random. Random phrase. Uh, and then, but... I would encourage you to consider sharing this post or sharing the blog post that we will be connected to for this, uh, to share this post on your timeline. We'd love for you to do that and what we're going to do for that is we're going to check that out and we're going to have you ta hashtag um, our, our team hashtag which is going to be called go for healthy G-O-F-O-R healthy and we're going to do a special giveaway Ooh. just for today just and just just for this recipe and what, i'll deliver this to your home no, yes I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> so it'll be a special and we're working we're working on what that surprise will be and i'll announce it in the group so it'll be good Very stuff for cool. you so good stuff and what uh so this is good and if you have any questions please keep keep reaching out to us try these things and we would love to get your feedback and continually uh that just to hear that and how the recipes went for you and if there's any adjustments that you made so thanks guys for listening Please, Please try. Give it a try. Yeah. Come on. Very, Be very, brave. Be brave with the curry. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Let's go.